Hey guys, welcome back to the Comic Wasteland. This is Jay. I'm other Jay this time. Uh, <laughs> and welcome to uh, part two of our holiday gift guide. Um, so we're in the midst of the Archie comics uh, revival. Um, so two books that we are covering right now are Betty and Veronica and Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, Adam Hughes is doing uh, Betty and Veronica and it's basically showing how competitive they are not only when it comes to like Archie. Uh, so far two issues in, uh, Betty is like trying to save Pop's diner while Veronica is just like trying to help her father like open up a franchise coffee shop in Riverdale. Josie and the Pussycats by uh, Marjorie Bennett and Cameron Diorio and Audrey Mock uh, basically shows how um, this is a retelling of like how the band got together. You may know the name Nick Spencer from Morning Glories, but I remember him from one of the most underrated DC series ever, Thunder his run on Thunder Agents. But over an image, right now he's doing The Fix. Outlandish over-the-top comedy star starring two crooked cops. Uh, Scheming monsters, corrupt politicians, and this uh, adorable uh, drug-sniffing beagle named Pretzels. Uh, it's really uncensored compared to like their stuff in Marvel. Just like for example, uh, a pretzel saves a day by biting a guy's nuts sack. <laughs> Definitely worth the read. <laughs> Definitely. So our next book is the new Power Man Iron Fist by David Walker and Sanford Green. It's uh, bro love epitomized. Yes. <laughs> they probably love each other more than we love each other, and we're really related. <laughs> uh, the heroes for hire are back. Uh, in the first few issues, they help uh, Jenny Jenny Royce, their old friend that used to work for th with them. Uh, and then later on, eventually, their bro love gets tested with uh, Civil War II going on. Uh, our next pick is Wayward from Image Comics by Jim Zub and Steve Cummings. Uh, you may know him from uh, Skull, Skull Kickers. Kickers. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's about this half Japanese, half Irish girl like moving back to Japan to be reunited with her mom, having a hard time to adjust. Uh, she cuts herself and stuff like that, and eventually meets like other characters and like where they all have like these strange superpowers. If you're a fan of like Japanese culture and like Japanese mythology, this is definitely the book for you. As the year is almost done, I believe the the winner of the new comic book company of the year award has to go to Aftershock Comics. Right now they have a book called Alters, they have a book called Insects, and then they have one of my favorite new books, Animosity. It's currently, this is the cover number one, it's currently three issues in. It's by Marguerite Bennett and Raphael Della Torre, and it basically covers the, the, the idea of, you know, that one day your pet wakes up, they have a conscious, they can talk to you, and... You know, some people, some pets love their humans, some animals want to kill all the humans. In a matter of months, uh, society collapsed, and in, in the midst of this, uh, one, one girl and her bloodhound have to make it across America. I cannot tell you guys enough how gorgeous this art is, and Marguerite Bennett is just hitting it out the park. So our next book is uh, We Can Never Go Home by Josh Hood, uh, Patrick Kinlon, and Matthew Rosenberg. Uh, basically, it's set in the late 80s with our two main characters, Duncan and Madison. Um, they go through this horrible accident and they end up having to run away from home. And, but the one problem is, uh, besides Madison having superpowers, it's that uh, their getaway plan is even shittier than what they did in the first place. Uh, it's volume one's complete in uh, this one five issue trade. So our last book is Nailbiter by Joshua Williamson and Mike Henderson. Um, it's about really the small town in uh, Oregon called Buckaroo where they uh, kind of uh, had like they created more or less um, the 16 vile serial killers. Uh, so when a uh, obsessed federal agent uh, goes missing, his NSA agent friend goes to look for him and he eventually needs the help of uh, an exonerated alleged uh, serial killer Edward uh, Nailbiter Warren. Uh, just really crazy over the top gore um people getting like sadistic getting killed in sadistic ways it's definitely worth the read and if you're just an overall fan of like joshua williamson like if you like his flash or mask and mobsters you should also check out his book uh, birthright where it's uh, this kid goes missing for a while and like it's really dealing like the whole it's 
family, how the family is dealing with like the whole fact that their son is missing. Thanks again for stopping by. Please feel free to like, share, leave any comments. If there's anything that you think we should be covering, please let us know. If anything, we'll see you next week. Until next time. Take care, guys. Bye.